Hello everyone, welcome to your weekly tarot reading. This is the reading where we look at the next seven days ahead. This is a timeless reading, so we're gonna see what to expect the next seven days from now when you're watching and also get any messages and guidance that wants to come through from your spirit team as well. So we're gonna draw a card here together for each group. And then we're also going to draw a rune for each group to help you use your intuition to decide which reading is for you and i feel like this always happens right when i start filming my cat starts eating um right beside me so if you hear anything in the background of my videos it's almost always a cat <laughs> my cat emmy but anyways let's get started so what's going on the next seven days for group number one i'm thinking we, we might keep these face down so here's the card for group number one. What is going on in the next seven days for group number two? What's going on in the next seven days for group number three? Um, next seven days for group number one. The English. I haven't used runes in so long. This is what I really felt called to today. I'm excited. Okay. What's going on? The next seven days for group number two. And Zeus. What's going on? The next seven days for group number three. Percano. All right, those are our three groups. Let's see if we can zoom in. There we go. So use your intuition, see which card, which rune is calling to you. If you need a little extra help deciding, one thing I like to do and what I like to suggest is looking at the timestamps below. Maybe there's an angel number or some number that's significant to you or you just feel drawn to as well. So pause the video if you need more time. Timestamps and chapters are below and I will see you in your reading. Welcome group number one to your reading. You chose this card, which we'll reveal in a moment, and Degas, I believe that's how you say it. And there's this means like there's a breakthrough coming. So maybe a realization, a breakthrough, overcoming a problem. Um, just really, yeah, breaking through an obstacle is what I'm getting. That's definitely coming through for group number one. We'll see how this relates, but yeah, like a new day, a breakthrough, an awakening. Okay, so uh, thank you so much for being here, group number one. Thank you to your guides, to my guides for assisting with the reading. So we're going to get the archetypal energy for the week. And then we have some Lenormand, Kipper, Tarot cards, Tea Leafs, Oracle. So we can get all the information for you. Spirit, what's going on the next week for group number one? So we have here the card, the forgotten, missed opportunities, fear of failure. Ooh, okay. There could be some breakthrough coming through this week on something that like you forgot about or something you thought you missed the opportunity on, you feel like it was been too late. Uh, I feel like you're having some breakthrough that has to do with overcoming fear and you're going to be able to overcome something or to start something that you've really wanted to do that you've kind of just been pushing aside, almost forgetting about. Let's put this right here. Wait, I'm not sure if this is all centered with group number one. Usually we have to kind of adjust all the cards. So let's, let's get some more cards out. What's going on in the next seven days for group number one? Let's start off with the Lenormand here. What's going on in the next seven days for group number one? Wow. We have the star. The star in Lenormand is clarity. Breakthrough. You're there's That's definitely being emphasized here. You're seeing something clearly now. You're getting a solution. You're overcoming obstacles. You're, yeah, so much clarity is coming through here. You're going to see exactly what you need to do or shift in order to achieve something. Okay, and then we have the man. This could have to do with um, a relationship of some sort. 
and then we have child which is like seeing things through fresh eyes there could be a new beginning coming with a masculine here or something to do with your children if you have them the child in Lenormand doesn't always mean literal child but it can uh, it could also be new beginnings but what I'm really seeing here is you are seeing things for, through fresh eyes a new perspective you're getting clarity and there's some breakthrough coming something and that you'll know what this is about for you specifically um, it's something that you feel like it's too late or you're you just have been wanting to do something for a long time but you've been afraid of what would happen afraid of the unknown afraid of failure but now you're seeing a way to conquer whatever this is, to achieve whatever this is. It could have to do with a specific relationship in your life, but it can also be maybe just something with masculine energy. Maybe you're overcoming some fear and taking action and starting something new this week. You're being inspired to take action to start something new. Mm -hmm. You're overcoming the fear, you're taking action. I just felt the urge to look at the bottom of the deck and we have the moon and this has to do with our career. So this could be about career for some of you, taking action in your career. Spirit, what's going on in the next seven days for group number one? Wow, we have main male. There's a lot of masculine energy coming through. I mean, this could be you or someone else. Okay, masculine all over this. Oh my gosh. But Spirit's like, nope, we have to bring in the female. Wow. This is interesting. Look at all these people cards. There's, there's only a few of these in this entire deck. Besides this, there's a mature woman. Wow, on the bottom we have marriage. So relationships are definitely highlighted here. And it seems like this could be so many different kinds or all of your relationships. There's a big shift. I feel like this message has come through in a recent reading. I don't know. I can't remember which one. Maybe you guys were in that reading as well. Either way, it's okay. But there could, there seems to be something here for sure. We have the masculine. We have a child. So this could be, you know, with um, a lover, a child, yourself, your parents, but we have the counterparts here too, main male, main female. There's some breakthrough, some new beginning, some clarity coming, and sometimes success could be suggested here at the star as well um, with your relationships. There could have been a relationship in your life you feel like you missed out on or it failed, and there could be some new beginning here. You guys could be um, breaking through some issue that you have had. This, yeah, and this could definitely be um, a spouse for some of you or someone or a relationship that's leading that way or some sort of commitment with the marriage card on the bottom here. But wow, this week is really relationship heavy, no matter what the dynamics are that because this is a general reading, take what resonates. But this week is all about your relationships, your interpersonal relationships here. There's some sort of breakthrough. You're overcoming some issue here. There could be someone from your past coming back this week as well. You could be hearing from someone that you haven't heard from in a while, this forgotten. And when I look at this, it looks like an hourglass kind of here. Like it's someone you haven't spoken to in a long time. They could be reaching out, wanting a new beginning, wanting a fresh start with you, wanting to um, clear the air and let you know their feelings and maybe clear up anything that has happened in the past. I feel like there's someone reaching out to that really feels like they missed out. So yeah, definitely expect to hear from someone from the past for a lot of you. That's really coming through now strong as well. And also breaking through some issues you had in other relationships. Let's get the tarot out now. Spirit, what's going on the next seven days for group number one. We have the page of wands in reverse. So this could have been, you know, we have child energy coming through twice, but uh, 
the page of wands this can represent fire signs so this could be some clarity on who this is or maybe confirmation of your sign uh, but the fire signs are Aries Leo and Sagittarius but there's could have been something like there was a lot of passion and it fizzled out or something it got off to a um, an erratic start like hot and cold energies coming through for some reason here uh, and that could be who this person is that's reaching out again Hmm. And then we have the strength card in reverse, so more Leo energy coming through. There could be a breakthrough um, in terms of something that was causing the strength card to be in reverse. So this could be like, um, like having struggles mentally or with addictions or anything like that. There could be a breakthrough here overcoming that, and that's why there's this clarity of thought really maybe reprioritizing things and focusing more on relationships and what's most important to you. Or this can be the other person's energy. Someone else was dealing with something that was causing them to have the strength card in reverse. So again, like addictions, mental health stuff, it could be anything that was just taking away their strength and their willpower. And they're having a breakthrough with that and having clarity of thought and now wanting to reach out and hoping that it's not too late. Wow, Eight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, there's something here that's really overcoming something that was keeping you or other people or someone else in your life, like trapped. Negative thoughts, addictions, unhealthy patterns. There, with the Eight of Swords in reverse, overcoming that, getting clarity of thought here, overcoming limitations, overcoming failure and limiting beliefs. And it definitely has to do something with your relationships that maybe these limiting beliefs or these addictions or whatever this energy is for you specifically or people in your life. Yeah, breaking through that, overcoming that, and really wanting a fresh start or to make amends in some way. It could also be you um, really identifying limiting beliefs and um, things, you know, that have been keeping you stuck in relationships, maybe keeping you in unhealthy relationship patterns or without any relationships. And you really are overcoming those fears and limiting beliefs. And now you're going to be able to start really healthy, meaningful relationships that are more mature, more healthy. Oh. Yeah, you've been carrying a lot of, a lot on your plate. Um, but it's the end of a tough road, a tough journey. And it's all because of, again, of this breakthrough that came out right away for a reason for this group. You've been carrying a lot of stress, burdens, limiting beliefs and fears. And now there's going to be release of that and a new beginning coming. It's going to really help you in your interpersonal relationships for sure. And we have the nine of cups yeah with missed opportunities and nine of cups in reverse that's like the same energy it's like thinking that your wishes aren't um being fulfilled like you can't get what you want or who you want it definitely seems like a who you want situation with all these people cards coming out uh but there is going to be a breakthrough where you're going to get insight and know how to you know either bend this relationship or move forward in in a better way and be able to achieve whatever it is you want I have the death card in reverse. It's interesting. I saw that on the bottom of the deck earlier. So the death card in reverse could be kind of staying the same way, not shedding what needs to go, um, avoiding doing that work with the ego, the shadow work, and maybe even just being bored, like same old thing all the time. Uh, I feel like you're that's... And what the same old thing all the time is keeping you stuck, I feel like, is fear and limiting beliefs. But we see that you will be overcoming that and there's some sort of, you know, you're really getting clarity on what's been holding you back this week. And maybe it's even like with this reading, you're realizing maybe it is fears and limiting beliefs and like cycles and patterns that aren't very healthy uh, and really identifying that. And through that, that's where you're getting this breakthrough and you're going to be able to move on to this next phase here these new relationships better relationships and again it could be mending a relationship that got off to a bad start in the past 
like there's a lot of energy there um, you're putting in like you know that hot and cold energy I was picking up on but there it was scattered energy and now you're going to see why that was scattered and you'll be able to focus on what's most important to you which it looks like you're realizing is relationships in some way here oh, I forgot to grab the astrology deck I like to use one sec it's right here good so we're going to see what astrological energies are relevant this week so this could be confirmation of your sign like in your top three or something really heavy in your chart or whoever this is or the these people are it could be multiple people that are really um relevant here for you this week the confirmation of their signs or we can just get additional messages from this what astrological energy is relevant this week for group number one venus so romantic relationships are definitely highlighted here confirmation for a lot of you and also taurus and libra but venus rules love relationships and what are we talking about it's all these relationships like so many people cards are are here for you today okay we're just gonna put this one up there and then we have saturn so saturn rules capricorn and aquarius but saturn can also represent someone older and we do have the mature man here it can do like patriarchal like father type energy or just an older someone that is older than you or like an old soul and this could be something that is just like delayed um it rules time this could be someone you've known for a long time that keeps coming up here or an issue you've been dealing with for a long time again with that forgotten energy someone from the past seems to be coming back but it seems like it's going to be a good thing mm -hmm. at least to clear up stuff but maybe it could be rekindling as well but there's going to be a lot of clarity and understanding coming through this week all right let's get should we get an angel number first? Yeah, let's get an angel number, an angel message, and then we'll get some tea leaves. What final messages do you have for group number one? What's going on in the next seven days? One, two, one, two, or 12, 12. Persistence, shift, enthusiasm, gratitude, contentment, new experiences. Oh, happy day. An ample opportunity related to your life's purpose is just around the corner. Take immediate action once it pops up. Of course, a lovely partnership or epic romance is also in the cards. Look at that. There's going to be an opportunity to either improve a partnership or for new love or someone from the past to rekindle that love this week. I feel like that is all over your reading today. Um, persistence. Yeah, I feel like this is... For a lot of you, this is someone you've known before, but you're stepping into a new experience with this person. Of course, if it is what you want. Anything else, Spirit? What's going on in the next seven days for group number one? Ram, a stubborn, aggressive person. Okay, there, there's Aries energy coming through. But maybe in the past there was issues because one of you or both of you were a little stubborn and aggressive and didn't want and had a lot of pride and didn't want to admit you're wrong or settle a dispute or whatever. That could be something like you're really butting heads with someone before. This could be help clarify who this is. And then we have whale, great worry over nothing. And that's what these fears of failure are. Like there's something that you've been wanting to pursue or someone you've been wanting to pursue, but you let fear of failure or just fears in general um stop you and you're gonna realize this week by taking action like there's been great worry over nothing and maybe even wish you did it sooner but at least you're doing it you're overcoming your fears and you're gonna realize it wasn't as scary or as bad as you thought wow <laughs> so we i feel like spirit comes through sometimes in this way to kind of clarify like because this is a general reading we had like older man energy but it could also be a younger man here but there is so much masculine energy and so much energy of other people in this spread, um, in this reading. Younger man, dealings or relationship with a younger man. This is just a week that is so focused around relationships. Mm -hmm. Now let's get the other half of the deck and get like two or three more to wrap up your reading. Anything else, Spirit? 
lion time to act yeah all this masculine energy could be coming out because action is needed maybe you've been thinking about someone a lot someone from the past and it's time you know it's that's this is confirmation from spirit it's time to reach out time to act and it could be a new beginning in a positive way and whatever this relationship is again it does seem like for a lot of you it could be romantic but it could be with like a family member a sibling a parent a friend whoever you know take what resonates to you wow and then we have increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals yes it's fears and limiting beliefs that have been stopping you from having whatever this is you want so increasing your efforts time acting you know you will achieve your goals you know it, when you take action because of the nine of cups in reverse yeah it's like there's something here you've been wanting but haven't had and spirit is saying it's time with all this masculine energy especially to take action to come into alignment with what it is you want who it, you want and that is how you can have this new beginning or this fresh start this shift that is this breakthrough that you are wanting mm-hmm Wow. So that concludes your reading, group number one. I look forward to a lot of relationship stuff. I feel like you're really breaking free of these beliefs, and it's really going to lead to a lot of insight and a lot of growth personally and interpersonally with other people around you and really help your relationships, rekindle relationships, start new relationships. <laughs> people are definitely important this week. <laughs> That is for sure. But that concludes your reading. I hope this resonated. I hope you got the messages, the insight, the guidance you needed most at this time. If you did get value from this reading, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video. It really helps me out and lets me know you enjoyed it. And leave a comment. Engagement helps as well in any capacity. If you would like to book a private reading with me, you can do so on my website, kittyrising.com. There is a code to save 11%. I will leave all that information in the description in case you want to check it out or pass it along to someone you think will benefit from it. Thank you so much for being here, group number one. I'm truly so grateful for each and every one of you. I love you so much. Have a great week, a great day, night, whenever you're watching this. I love you so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Welcome, group number two, to your reading. You chose um, Seuss and this card here, which we will reveal soon. So this rune um, is all about like the ancestors and ancestral gods and communication, um, innate wisdom. So we'll see how this has to do. There could be something here with spiritual growth, really connecting to your ancestors, to your guides. This week, getting a lot of divine inspiration. We will see how this relates, like I said. Um, before we reveal this card and get all these other cards out, we have decks all around. We're going to get all the insight you need for this week ahead, group number two. But first, I want to thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you to your guides. Thank you to my guides for assisting with the reading today. Spirit, what's going on in the next seven days for group number two? Wow. The sleeper, cause and effect, clarity. You may be getting a lot of messages in your dream this week. So I would highly recommend keeping a dream journal and writing it, or you can even use a dictation app in your phone. Sometimes it's easier because my writing is really bad even when I'm like fully alert. But when I get up and I write in a dream journal, I can't even read it later. So what I started to do is a dictation app, like just open up your phone and speak to it and um, look back on those messages because I feel like you are getting a lot of downloads, a lot of information through your dreams from your ancestors, from your guides. So definitely um, something to consider doing this week. I think that will be a lot a very helpful for you and also help you get clarity on maybe some issues going on in your life or something you're, you're not sure about. I feel like that is how you get the answers. That's how you get the guidance, the messages from your spirit team. Mm -hmm. You could also be sleeping better this week, especially those of you who maybe have been having some issues with that. All right, let's... Get some more cards out. We'll see how else that sleeper card um, is coming through. But I feel like right away we're getting more like guidance for group number two uh, to really pay attention to your dreams, especially this week. Oh. So what's going on in the next seven days for group number two? Two. Uh, lovely. So we have the clover. This is like good luck, good fortune. 
abundance, opportunities. Beautiful. Oh, spirit. We can get where the opportunity is. And then we have the ship. Ooh, there could be an opportunity to travel. Opportunity for a lot of soul growth. This could be life's journey as well. The soul's journey or an actual physical journey. You can have an opportunity for a lot of growth, a lot for actual travel. One, like two, three, or sequential order. And then we have the garden. You guys can also be getting a lot of messages while you are out in nature, out by the water, out yeah, in the park, on walks. We have plants here. We also have the ship. It's yeah, it's actually above land. It's like a flying ship. <laughs> um, you could have the opportunity to, yeah, to travel and go to some event this week, or you will be just asked to do it and you'll be planning it. You can be getting communication from someone with an invita invitation to some event, something in public, maybe even a date. But there's a lot of opportunities. There's a lot of very beautiful, like carefree energy with this clover coming out. Um, a lot of luck, a lot of just good times. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's on the bottom here. We have the broom. It's going to talk about repetition. Um, yeah, there definitely could be something here with like a hot date with <laughs> um, a younger man or a man for some of you. Does not have to be that. Take what resonates. Um, the, the broom can talk about like sexual excitement That's what, and also represent a younger man with his jack energy here. Uh, d again, doesn't have to be that, but I feel like, yeah, because we have such good energy coming through. Um, I feel like that's what this is about, but also with doubling, repetition, like things happening more than once. Uh, if you feel like you have like something happening all the time, like specific types of relationships or problems, paying attention to your dreams and the messages you get on your walks, however it is you connect to spirit will really help you overcome this, get clarity on how to overcome some issue, some, something that just keeps happening in your life. And it'll be like smooth sailing from there. And some people might be like, I don't really remember my dreams. The more you try to remember them and record them, the more you'll actively uh, remember that. Like, you know, you'll start to get more from it. The more you pay attention to it and the more you try. So what's going on in the next seven days for group number two? We have family room, false person, and thief. Ooh. I feel like you are getting clarity on someone in your life. And I was kind of picking up on when I was seeing the same things happen over and over again. I was feeling that it could have to do with relationships, like maybe someone, yeah, using you you know, um, acting like they want a relationship, but then they just, you know, want to have that sexual energy that came through as well. And then they like peace out and you're like, why do I keep ending up with people like this? You could be getting a lot of insight and breakthrough on this pattern and it could be something ancestral. Why this keeps happening. Maybe you saw your parents have something similar or it's just in your, your ancestral karma, generational karma that you've been carrying. But I feel like there is going to be like this breakthrough, this clarity on how to overcome or like to get out of this pattern. And there's going to be a new opportunity to move on. Yeah, I feel like this ship for most of you is really about the soul's journey and growth and evolution. And you're breaking free of this. But yeah, you, a lot of you are really, you could even be having a dream that maybe like a friend or someone in your life it could even be a family member that, that it could be literally stealing from you or just are not a, a good person. They have a hidden agenda of some sort. And your ancestors, um, your guides, could really be trying to communicate this to you. But maybe you're not seeing the messages in real life because it's they're so subtle that that's why they want you to really pay attention to your dreams. Like maybe you're like, I keep having this dream about this person and they're like bad in your dream. Maybe that could be literal like, or giving you some sort of clue. 
And I feel like family room came through because this is really ancestral. Um, I feel like your ancestors are really what is trying to, uh, or who are really trying to get through to you. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it could perhaps be something that is ancestral karma that you're, you're working on if it's not in your current lifetime or just something that's a cycle that keeps coming up with your, you and your family or maybe someone in your family. But for a lot of you, I feel like this is someone outside your family with this false person and thief energy here. So yeah, really, you'll really get clarity on this. And it could be both. Again, it could be identifying someone in your current life that is um, doing something wrong behind your back. And it could, or it could be about just breaking a pattern. And it really could be both for you guys too. This is interesting because in group number one, we had a focus on relationships here. This is different, but maybe if you felt um, called to that, but there's something here with improving relationships or getting clarity on them so you can move forward and have healthier relationships in the future. Very interesting. Okay, let's get tarot out now. Spirit, what's going on in the next seven days for group number two? What's going on in the next seven days for group number two? Wow, I split the deck and I see the Ace of Swords. That's clarity, like insight. You're really, it's really emphasized here in your reading, but Spirit, what's going on? The next seven days for group number two. We have the King of Cups in reverse. Okay, um, this could be you or someone you're dealing with. Water sign energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But this could be maybe someone emotionally manipulative or unstable. Strength card upright. We have Leo energy coming through. But okay, this could be, yeah, really overcoming something that's been emotionally a struggle. Really overcoming a cycle, overcoming an addiction, overcoming whatever this hardship has been with you or your family and relationships. And then we have the Three of Wands. Which makes me think cause and effect. That's interesting because the Three of Wands is like you, you're starting to see the rewards of the work you're putting in. You're starting to see manifestations of what it is you've been working on. So I feel like a lot of you, you know, you are watching a tarot video. I'm sure you're, you're aware of inner work and you've been doing that and I feel like you're starting your things are going to start getting easier for you I feel like with this clover coming out first you're going to have some sort of breakthrough you're going to have some new opportunities some prosperity some abundance coming this week um that's really helping you move forward to a better um oh shit Emmy <laughs> she just knocked over a light it wasn't the one I'm currently using but anyways <laughs> Um, maybe that's like total confirmation. She's like, pay attention. <laughs> but yeah, things are really um, improving. I think you're starting to see that, you know, that maybe you've already been doing this ancestral generational work or this, your own work about your relationships in your life. And now you're going to, you're really, um, starting to see that effect and things are going to get easier, luckier, more, um, prosperous, abundant, it's just easier for you. Mm-hmm. Wow, the Empress. <laughs> so you have Venusian energy, Venus rules, Taurus, and Libra. That could be confirmation for some of you. There could be something here with your mother. This is definitely motherly energy. Maybe you're a mom um, or healing stuff with your mom. Or you're just feeling more luxurious and more abundant. And oh, you have these threes here. I feel like... There's just a lot of great, creative, wonderful, juicy energy this week. Juicy, I don't know. <laughs> but it just feels really nice. I feel like you're resting more, more self-care. You're feeling good. Um, you're feeling more luxurious. Uh, ooh, two cards just came out. Let's see. King of Wands. So we have fire energy coming through as well. And that is 
Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and then we have Eight of Cups. So I feel like, yeah, you really have gotten some emotional stuff all aligned, all together. You've done the healing, and now you're ready to move on to the next phase of life. And I feel like your ancestors and so are really coming through. Maybe it's even your mom or a maternal family member. So we have that here on the other side, female um, energy. And they're really helping you, guide you forward. Mm -hmm. uh, and the bottom we have the four of swords in reverse. Yeah, a lot of you have, maybe have been struggling at night, sleeping wor with worries and fears. I feel like you're definitely sleeping better this week. You're feeling better this week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like you have more energy. You're feeling more confident. You're able to, yeah, like I said, you're going to have these new opportunities and a new opportunity to, to move on, to move forward. There could literally be some travel this week for some of you. It doesn't need to be necessarily long distance or anything like that. It could even be just getting out of the house more, going to the park, going on a date. Right. Let's get some astrology cards out now. Can confirm maybe your your top three or your main three, or someone you're dealing with, or get additional messages. What astrological energy is relevant this week for group number two? Thank you. We have Pisces. So we had that King of Cups energy too. Yeah. So we have Pisces energy and Taurus. So we have two signs confirmed here twice with the Empress and Taurus and then Pisces and the King of Cups. So these are definitely um, coming through this week. But yeah, Taurus, I feel like there's a lot of self-care, self-love. You're resting more. You're feeling good. Even the Pisces is like smelling the flowers. I just feel like there's something like even romantic this week. Mm -hmm. Pisces. And Taurus, yeah. Okay. Spirit, what else? What's going on the next seven days for group? Oh, number two. Broken ring. Partings, parting of the ways in either romance or business. Yeah, there is this energy that, you know, you could be picking up on someone that you're, you know, romantically involved with, or now we're getting the message also you could be working with, that they are going behind your back. They're a false person. They're a thief in some way, whether this is an energy thief, like you're, or what? actual literal like taking property or something like that but I feel like you're getting clarity on that and that is going to help you move forward and lead to better opportunities to people that you actually do want in your life so I, I don't see this as a bad thing I mean it could sting and hurt and sucks you know of course when people you know are false to you in whatever way but it's going to lead you to new opportunities and better relationships where you're treated right and you're not taken advantage of. So it's really leading you to new opportunities here. But yeah, I think there's definitely something here with someone's true intentions are being revealed. Spirit's confirming that. What else, Spirit? Wow. Broken wishbone. We have broken ring and then broken wishbone. There could be something here like wanting someone to change, hoping they're someone different than they are. Um... But you're realizing their true intentions. You're going to realize that there's other opportunities out there. I know sometimes we want a specific person so bad or a specific job, whatever it is. And we think that the best there is. But in reality, if they're not giving you the love that you need and the attention, then they're not the best for you. And you are so worthy of love and all the things you desire, everything you desire. You have those desires for a reason. So you're going to realize the silver lining of something not working out. And you're going to, by this connection or whatever this is leaving, your, it's going to lead you to new opportunities. So much soul growth and expansion. And yeah, you're really going to be led to something much better. Much, much better. You don't want someone who's emotionally unavailable. 
So I feel like you're being led to your manifestation, especially in love, but take it how it resonates to your situation. Again, with any general reading. What else, spirit? Plenty of material things. Okay. For some of the, you that are wanting more like this luxury side of the Empress and not romance, um, you could be really being guided to, you know, more money. Maybe this is the new job, more finance, but I, your spirit guides right now want you to know that you are protected and plenty of material things are coming, especially if someone has taken advantage of your money, your time, your, your stuff. There is this clover coming. You're getting new opportunities. There's luck coming, abundance coming. This could be money coming in this week or just material things. Oh, I love that. Good news. Yeah. Spirits confirming there's good news coming. And then we have obstacles to overcome. That was coming out with this card. So you could be hearing about, yeah, absolutely. And that's interesting. The first thing we have was on Zeus, which could be communication. And again, good news is coming. You're hearing something good. And I feel like it has to do with an obstacle that you've been dealing with, whether that's financial, relationships. You're, there's some good news. And I really feel like it is in the, um, has to do with an, a new opportunity. On the bottom of the deck, we have recognition, reward for merit. Look, these look similar. They have the fruit there. So you could be hearing something like you're being rewarded or getting something for your job or a raise or something like that that fits your situation. Wow. Bread, a period of prosperity and abundance. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Plenty of material things, a period of prosperity and abundance. There's good luck coming, new opportunities to make more money. I was saying the word prosperity and abundance earlier with that clover. So Spirit's confirming that again. I love when we th see things um, show up multiple times. That is um, additional significance on those messages. All right, let's wrap up your reading with an angel number and an angel message. What additional message do you have for group number two, final message? 888, this is the number to me of abundance, manifestation, prosperity. This is so all over your reading. Wow, there's a lot going on this week for you. But anyways, karma. We're talking about karma too. Okay, more confirmation for you, group number two. Balance, finances, success, wealth, cycles. What goes around comes around. A lot of money is coming your way. <laughs> Fortune refers to more than just monetary and material success. If you don't appreciate the people in your life now, you won't have them tomorrow. This message encourages you to take personal responsibility and use it to realize your greatest potential. Ooh. There's something about relationships in that too. If you don't appreciate people in your life now, you won't have them tomorrow. And I feel like this is kind of energy of like, I feel like people around you maybe haven't been appreciating you. Um, and I feel like you're realizing that and you're letting people go. And now there's going to be a new opportunity. And again, this could even be like your boss and your coworkers not, not um, appreciating you. So it's really, I'm seeing yeah, a lot of work stuff and relationship stuff. And, you know, if they don't appreciate you, or maybe you haven't been showing them that, if, I really feel like this is towards you but you're going to be moving forward to something better and more fulfilling. Take personal responsibility and use it to realize your greatest potential. Wow. I feel like we had a lot of information in this reading and I feel like, yeah, there was definitely guidance to pay attention to your, your, um, the downloads you get when you sleep, when you're on walks, really um, record that and pay attention to that and the patterns because you're really being led somewhere more fulfilling. But expect, yeah, improvement in relationships <laughs> or letting go of at least relationships this week. I feel like this is the week of letting go of what's not um, aligned with you and what's not fulfilling. And it's going to lead you to new opportunities. But there's definitely some money and material things coming in. Some good news around that for group number two. Wow, 888. <laughs> Seriously, that there's so much prosperity. This is amazing. Such luck and opportunity coming. But yeah, pay attention and pay attention because you don't want to miss out. But that concludes your reading group number two. I hope this resonated. I hope you got the insight, the guidance, the messages you needed most at this time. If you did get value from this reading, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, leave a, leave a comment if you wish. Uh, engagement really helps the channel out and helps reach more people. So I appreciate you so much for doing so. 
Uh, if you would like to book a private reading with me, you can do so on my website, kittyrising.com. There is a code to save 11% on your first reading. I'll leave all of that down below in the description if you want to check it out or pass it along to someone you think would benefit. Thank you so much for being here, group number two. I'm truly so grateful for each and every one of you. I love you so much. Have a great week, great day, night, whenever you're watching this, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Welcome, group number three to your reading. What's going on the next seven days for you? You chose Brocano, the rune. So this has to do, well, it relates to like the Empress card in the tarot, if you're familiar with that. So motherly energy, um, birth, rebirth, creation, creativity. Love the Empress energy. So we'll see how this fits in to the rest of your reading. We'll take a look at this card here to start off and see what like archetypal type energy is going on this week. We have a bunch of decks here. We're gonna get all the insight and guidance you need for the week ahead. Uh, but first, thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate you spending some of your precious time with me today. And thank you to your guides and my guides for assisting with the reading. What's going on in the next seven days? Wow, we have the King, Control, Reversal of Fortune. Uh, I'm thinking like king and queen energy like here with uh, the empress energy <laughs> being highlighted here. And then we have the king, which is making me think of um, the emperor or any of the kings in the tarot as well. But control reversal of fortune. So we'll see how this fits in here. I feel like there could be a rebirth. The rebirth kind of was really hitting home. Maybe there's been something you feel like has been difficult and you're taking control, you're creating something, you're having a rebirth. There could be something here with a rebirth or taking control of a relationship and mending things. Maybe things have been rough and you're reversing that. There definitely seems to be a theme of relationships coming through the next seven days, but we, we have so many more cards to pull. We'll see how this relates to you. Let's start off with the Lenormand. Spirit, what's going on the next seven days for group number three. Oh, this card in the flow wants to come out. We have mice. Let's see what that has to do with. Garden. And a tree. In the bottom we have the snake energy. So the mice, this is like nibbling away at things, taking away. And then with the garden and the tree. Hmm. There could be something to do with family dynamics here. Because the tree can represent, look, it even has a tree of life on here. That's cool. And the rainbow. So, and it can also have to do with our health at times as well. Stability. Things that are slow growing. So maybe there could be something here with a rebirth in something like a with a family issue. There could have been something here with a some sort of lack mindset that has been in the family that you're overcoming. But really, it could be um, maybe taking control of, of your health. Maybe you haven't been feeling as good lately, and this week you might be taking action, taking control of that. And maybe, for example, booking a doctor's appointment, taking more walks outside, getting out in nature, improving your mindset in whatever way. Maybe, again, nature seems really important here. Look, we have two sevens, one red and one black seven. We can see an additional message for you here. Mm -hmm. Let me look in the book. That is relevant for a reason. Let's see how that fits into your reading. One black and one red seven is worries. So, yeah, taking control of negative thinking and worries. That definitely relates to this mice here. Let's get more cards and see how this all fits together for you. But I really feel like This might seem negative, like a lessening of health or something like that, but I feel like you're taking control of your health or maybe taking control of your negative thinking, taking control of family situations or dynamics. 
like instead of just settling like, oh, this is how it is, you're like, you know what? I'm gonna reverse this. I'm gonna take control and take action and create whatever the result it is I want. Official person. Yeah, I feel like this is also like taking control. Like, um, but let's see. Wow, unexpected income. And then we have thief. That's interesting. This came up with the mice and the thief. Yeah, there could be someone in your life that, and the snake was on the bottom of the deck. What's on the bottom of the kipper? The male. The masculine energy coming through a few times here, but we also have the feminine energy, but. Um, we also have the snake here. There could be someone in your life that's been just taking from you, taking away your energy, your time, your income. And you could be deciding to let go of them or take action on that, take control of this situation, step up and be like, no more. But also this could be, you know, you not... You're, where are you putting your time? It looks like he's stealing a wa pocket watch or something. Are you giving your time away to things that serve you and help with your growth? Or are they taking away from that? Like maybe you're putting your time towards scrolling or towards eating unhealthy or to negative thoughts or to fears and lack mentality. And now it's time to put your time into your health, to your well-being, into, what, into your family, into what is important to you. Some of you guys could be taking control of your finances and you're going to be making more money this week. I feel like there is some money coming in unexpectedly. But there's also this message maybe where you're putting your money is something Spirit wants you to, to think about here. I do have number 22 here. Maybe some of you guys are seeing repeated numbers and that could be messages from your guides that you want to pay attention to. Let's get the tarot out to expand on this here. I feel like they're like the king and like the both masculine and feminine energies coming out together in the very beginning. I feel like you're bringing more balance into your life. And also this, this makes me think of the six of uh, pentacles in the tarot, but I also feel like that's like reciprocal energy. And I feel like balanced energy. I feel like maybe you've been way more in the feminine than the masculine for a lot of you, or, and now you're, you're starting to take action and control. Like nothing's wrong with either of the energies, but when you're just on, total one side here, then maybe, you know, things have just been unbalanced and maybe like there's all these things you're wanting in your life, but you haven't been taking action or planning or doing, taking control of them and just hoping things change, waiting for someone to swoop in and help and change things for you. But now you're like realizing that there's some action that's needed. Like, yeah, I do need a little bit of exercise or I do need to drink more water or spend more time in nature or let go of these bad habits or implement new habits, whatever it is for you. For some of you, it could be um, better sleep, could be something you need, spending more time in introspection and meditation. These two cards together, meditation is definitely um, something that Spirit is recommending for group number three. Spirit, what, what else can you expand on this or give us more messages for the week ahead? Group number three. We have the Queen of Wands. We have Fire Energy coming out. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And we have the Devil in Reverse. Ooh, okay, let's get one more and, and then we'll pause and talk about these messages. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles here. Wow, all this feminine energy. Um, so we have Capricorn and then Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like you're really taking control of a bad habit, a bad relationship, something that you've been giving all of your energy towards that's not healthy of you and spirits confirming that here. And this could have to do with your energy, your vitality, your finances, your home, your well-being overall. And you're take, stepping up and you're going to nurture that. And I feel like you're, you're going to be implementing things or getting rid of things either way um, or both. That's going to lead to you feeling healthier, more abundant. Ace of Cups is on the bottom here. This can lead to a renewal in some relationship or lead to a new emotional beginning, a new relationship. Wow, this just flipped over. The five of pentacles in reverse. You're overcoming a lack mindset and also overcoming bad health with this five of pentacles. Spirit's really, really confirming that. 
when we see multiple messages come up repeatedly, that's definitely emphasized and showing up for a reason. But if you have Ace of Swords, you're going to have clarity of mind. You're going to get some inspiration this week. I feel like you're, if you've been dealing with like brain fog or anything like that, you're definitely thinking more clearly. And I feel like it's because you're letting go of bad habits and you're feeling healthier and you're doing healthier things. Let's get one more. And then we have the King of Wands in reverse. So we have the counterparts here, but the King is in, re in reverse here. And I think that is also spirit confirming that maybe you've been leaning more on the feminine side and not the masculine. And it's time to kind of take action on your dreams and what it is you want. And like make plans, that's a masculine energy plan and have a schedule and stick to it and take control of things. And also like cut things out with this these um, swords here, cut things out that aren't healthy for you. And I feel like you are doing that. So maybe it, this is like confirmation. Some of you guys have been thinking about making certain shifts and this is the week you start implementing that. You step up. I feel like with this official person, like stepping up and doing the thing is really what's coming through with that. And again, this for most of you, this has to do with health and finances, your relationships as well. But like some of you, this energy here could be letting go of a toxic or codependent relationship. So again, as with any general reading, take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Um, Six of Swords on reverse here. Yeah, you could be just staying in a situation for far too long, whether this is a state of mind, a relationship, your health, just life in general, just kind of felt stuck, like you can't change anything. This is the week you're realizing, you know what? I can change this. I can take control and create the life I want, change, you know, become the person I want, have the relationship I want. I am in control. I don't need to settle for less. Whatever's been keeping me stuck is my thoughts or bad habits or bad relationships, whatever it is. You're getting clarity. You're you're seeing exactly what you need to do, and you're taking control. And you're you're becoming more balanced, and you're gonna see a result right away. Like with health and, and weight and all those types of things, whatever it is for you, those take a little bit of time to see results. But I feel like you are gonna see with this mindset shift, you will um, see in your physical reality some money coming in from this. So I know like it, it's annoying when you don't see like. Um, health stuff or physical stuff right away, but Spirit wants you to like, you know, keep going. Again, have that schedule, be that in that planning and, and action stage, that masculine energy, but you will start to see some results, especially in your finances. I feel like you're also going to be feeling better um, mentally as well, like more clear headed. You're going to start to see results in that way as well. More energy. All right. Now let's get some astrology cards out. So this could be confirmation of your sign or someone you're dealing with or additional messages as well. What astrological energy is important this week or relevant this week for group number three spirit? Neptune, Pisces energy. And also Neptune causes like a haze, like we can't see things clearly or rose colored glasses. There's definitely clarity of mind coming that's confirmed. But we also yeah Pisces energy, and then we have Taurus energy. This has come through in a few. More self love, more self care, more nourishment, especially with the Queen of Pentacles here this week will be really helpful for you. Like it's not all just taking away things, starting things that are good for you too, like spending the time in nature, cooking healthier meals at home, sleeping enough. Doing that self care routine, skin care, drinking the water. Again, take what resonates and what fits your, you and your situation, your life. Now let's get some tea leaves. What's going on in the next seven days for group number three? Danger, especially in money matters. Yeah, I feel like you really are taking control of that. We but we have the unexpected income here, so. I feel like yeah, there's something that's maybe someone's been taking away money for you or your certain habits. And you're taking control of that. And you could be really reversing your fortune with reversal of fortune here. Like if you've been in this money, um, having money problems, that lack mentality, that five of pentacles upright, we see since it's reversed and also with unexpected income, um, that you're, there's a reversal of fortune in a good sense. Like you are going to be um, having a better 
week financially, more money's coming in. Wow, work, achievement, success, yes. But you know, the work, gotta put the effort in. <laughs> I'm laughing because there's more money information, or like something important such as a new job or a raise. There's definitely, you're increasing your money this week. And I feel like it starts with a shift in your mindset and by taking action. So maybe some of you guys are applying for a job or asking for that raise. Maybe you just have been doing the same job and you haven't gotten any raises, but you're just like waiting for them to bring it up. No, take control and have set up a meeting and ask if you can get a raise. And I feel like that taking that action could be what some of you need to do to get this income coming in, but it could be unexpected as well. Something important such as a new job or a raise. Well, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. Okay, this could be a new job and you starting a new business. Maybe you've had this idea with this Burkano thing, like you're creative, you want to you wanna launch your own Etsy store or business or YouTube channel, whatever it is, but you haven't taken action on it. This is the time, the week to birth it, to take that action, to start planning, to do it. Because I feel like you are very creative. You have a lot of ideas. You have a lot of things you want in life, but maybe you just haven't, you need that, that masculine energy to come in. You need to take a you know, some action on that so you can birth whatever it is you want to bring into this world. And birth, Burkano. <laughs> Spirit's really coming through to confirm things, yeah. We have pineapple, reconciliation. Okay, maybe some of you are, have been wanting to reach out to someone to reconcile, but you haven't, and this is the week again. Action is needed on your part if that is true. But yeah, so maybe there could be a reconciliation with someone. Mm -hmm. Deep personal strength and peace that assure success. Oh, I love that. Oh, a card just, card just flew to the ground. Let me grab it. Oops, I had to bend it a little bit to pick it up. Archway, new opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. Yes. So I feel like this is definitely coming through. There's an opportunity, but spirit is like really emphasizing to take action when to, to like, you know, when th these things come up and so don't let them pass you by because these new opportunities, these paths are going to lead you to more abundance, better health, better relationships. That's for sure. I love that. Now let's wrap up your reading by getting an angel number and an angel message. Spirit, what final message do you have for group number three? For the week ahead. What final message is you have for group number three? 21, 21. Energy levels. Holy shit, you guys really are going to be feeling healthier and more energized. Excuse my friends. <laughs> oh, I'm proud. Okay, I'm just going to read it. And then we can talk. <laughs> um, so 21, 21. 21, 21. Energy levels. Prosperity. Harmony. Journey. Waiting. Discipline. <laughs> um, ex exaggeration. The opposite sex. Okay, keep reading. <laughs> the day you're waiting for will come. Maintain discipline. You're getting closer to your end goal. There's no need to overextend yourself. Guard your energy and remain focused. It will pay off. It's a climb, not an elevator ride. Trust in you. Okay, maintain discipline. Discipline is the masculine energy and the opposite sex. I feel like most of you are, are feminines probably watching this, but if not, you know, that's fine. Um, we both have feminine and masculine energy and we're being called to draw on that opposite energy here, that masculine, and it's going to help bring us prosperity. Maintain discipline. Come up with a plan and stick to it, and you will get your end goal. You don't need to overextend yourself like it says. Just do like 30 minutes a day, whatever it is. Um, set, you come up with the plan that's best for you, and this will lead you to, to what you want. This is how you're going to get to where you want. If you feel like you're in a slump, you feel stagnant, tapping into that discipline, that action, the planning, the schedule, that is how you will get the life you want, whatever it is you want. What you want will be different for each and every one of you, but maintaining discipline is, is definitely emphasized in this reading. And for some of you, this can even be like discipline over your, your thoughts and your mindset, your habits. And you can just add like one or two things at a time. You don't want to overwhelm yourself. So that's just like setting yourself up for failure, you know. So, but wow, you're going to be feeling energy levels. You're going to be feeling for sure healthier this week by letting go of toxic thought, toxic people, 
certain habits. So yeah, I feel like for most of you, this is going to be confirmation. You've already been thinking about shifting something and this is the confirmation, the little kick in your butt from your spirit guides that maybe <laughs> you need it, um, to start taking action on this and not giving your time away to people, to things that don't serve you and your highest good. And again, expect a little bit of money coming through and some opportunities coming through and as a result of your efforts. And that should give you the momentum, you know, to keep going at even after this week. But awesome. I love this for you. Group number three, I hope you do as well. Uh, that concludes your reading. I hope you got the guidance, the information, the insight you needed most at this time. If you did get value from this reading, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, leave a comment if you wish. Engagement really helps me and my channel out and to help reach more people. So I appreciate you. Thank you in advance. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, you can do so on my website, kittyrising.com. There is a code to save 11% on your first reading. I will leave all of that information down below uh, in case you want to check it out or pass it along to someone you think will benefit from it. Thank you so much for being here. I truly am so grateful for each and every one of you. Have a great week, a great day, great night whenever you're watching this. I love you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.